today we're going to show you how to create your very own piece of stencil art from scratch with this step-by-step -step video. First, start by printing out your design. In this case, the artist has chosen Banksy's iconic flower thrower picture. You can choose an existing piece by another artist or you can create your own design. Print out the design and mark four registration squares or circles in each of the four corners so that you can line up every stencil with the picture. This is an acetate sheet which is 0.3mm thick and this is what you're going to use to make your stencils. Once it has been aligned, use masking tape to fix the acetate sheet in place. The scalpel we'll be using is a standard scalpel with a 10A blade. Each different colour needs a new stencil, so for each layer, use the scalpel to cut around the parts that are the same colour in your printed picture. The base layer that has been cut was for all of the black elements that you can see here. Now number the stencils for your reference. There are going to be 8 different colour layers for this artwork, so we numbered from 1 to 8, and the majority of the colour layers on this picture will come from the flowers. Once you've completed the first stencil, remove it, put it aside, then with another acetate sheet, repeat the first step until you have one stencil cut for each layer of colour. Again, remember to line up the four registration marks before you cut anything out. Make sure the place you're going to paint in is well ventilated. As the layers of paint are sprayed on top of each other, start with the background and work your way into the foreground of the picture. Once you have the canvas laid down on a flat surface, take your first stencil cut out, lay it on top of the canvas and tape it down with standard masking tape so that it doesn't move. The gloves we recommend are the Panthera Black Latex Gloves. They're fairly cheap, reliable and protect your hands from the paint. They come in all different sizes, so make sure you get the right size for you. A crucial piece of safety equipment you're going to need when making your artwork is a face mask. The one we recommend is a 3M respirator. The two brands of spray paint that the artist finds the best are Montana Gold Acrylic and his personal favourite is the MTN94 because it seems to dry quicker and doesn't pull up or run. The first thing we're going to do is lightly spray over all four registration mark holes and this will help us line up the rest of the stencils later. Spray in light even coats about five inches away from the canvas. Spray using a flicking motion. Make sure you pin down the stencil with your fingers so when you spray, the paint doesn't spray underneath the stencil and create a bad mist underspray. You don't want to spray too much because the paint will start to pull up and run. It's best to work in thinner layers that build up. If you spray for a long time with the gloves on, the gloves start to get sticky. When that happens, it's time to replace them. You may need to use more than five pairs of gloves for one canvas, but that's fine. Once you've finished a layer, take off the masking tape, remove the sheet and place it somewhere out of the way. Each time you finish using a can, turn the can upside down and spray until just air comes out. This stops the can from clogging up so you can use it in the future. If you ever need to touch up the canvas, you can do so freehand at any point. Then make sure it all completely dries before you start with the next layer. With your next stencil layer, line it up with the registration marks, tape it down, shake up the appropriate colour spray paint can, put the cap on, do a quick test spray, then repeat the process. If the spray can starts to spit out big blobs of paint, then it's time to change to a new spray cap. This will make the paint spray finely. Again, when you finish the layer, turn the can upside down and spray until only air comes out. One of the big benefits of using acetate sheet stencils is that you can reuse them. The best way to store them is to put greaseproof paper between each stencil and roll them up. Then start the next layer and repeat the process. Once you've finished all of the layers, the last thing to do is remove all of the registration marks, tidy it up and of course sign the back of the canvas. That's it for now. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video and we'd love you to take a photo of your own artwork and share it with us in the comments section. 
If you'd like to inquire about buying a piece of MF Graffiti art, then email the artist at mattfarina at hotmail.com.